What's up guys, today is Thursday, mother f not gonna say it. So anyway, today's Thursday, a uh, loose plan that I had is Tuesdays and Thursdays, we'll, I wanted to either do a run or a swim, and then also some sort of Olympic weightlifting. But right now it's 12.30, the, the pool opens at the high school that I used to go to, the Skyline Aquatic Center, it's a fire pool, the water's amazing. It's like, it feels like you're jumping into the Caribbean when you get in the pool lane swimming pool. Yeah, we're gonna be meeting up with my boy Brandon who goes to the gym. He's trying to get big in CrossFit. He's trying to go to the games. He needs some help with his weightlifting, so he's been coming to the gym and he's been killing it. Uh, Eddie's at work today. I normally go with Eddie, but he's working and Brandon said he swims, so I was like, yo, let's meet up. So we're about to go meet up and I'm gonna do his workout. Now, that was the only thing I was planning on doing today. However, I do have to go back to work at three. Uh, work being the gym. Schedule's a little crazy when coach is out of town. I'll get in more more into that later. We also have our weightlifting class on on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. It is a little slower bit of evening. There's a different coach coaching the class, so I think um, I'm gonna hop in and just do it for my my weightlifting. That is the plan though down the road that I can just hop into those classes and do those because there's already a program. It's just I don't gotta think about it. It's almost like our team program. These small decisions like that just to put in a little extra effort is what I think is really helping me in. It's it's fun. It's fun to push myself especially going into it with the mindset of like oh, okay you're tired you swam just see what you can do you showed up put in the effort and that's all that matters i'm gonna dip out so i'm not late because i'm fucking late to everything i do which is an awful thing it makes me feel like an awful person it makes me feel selfish i'm gonna be on time today we're gonna head out you know what else is selfish me cutting into the middle of the video for an ad read but you know it can help work on yourself and other things like selfishness Therapy. That's why I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. Now I know therapy can get a bad rap, but honestly it's helped me a little bit sift through some things that otherwise I would just go over and over and over again in my head in a cycle. And it can be nice sometimes just to talk to someone that you really feel is unbiased and not feel like you're just dumping all your problems onto a loved one. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And this is an important mission because finding the right therapist for you is a hard thing especially limited to the options in your area. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist in your area easier. It's all online, it's all remote, all you got to do is fill out a few questions and they'll match up a therapist for your needs. It's easy to sign up and get matched. There's a link in my description and it's also betterhelp.com slash Sherwinski. Using that link will get you 10% off your first month. And say you match with someone, you don't like it, you know it's kind of like Tinder, although I don't know much about Tinder. It's very easy to, if you're not vibing with someone, hop over to another guy. They have a bunch of options and it can help with sports, it can help with depression, anxiety. Whatever you need, they have someone for you. So if you're struggling, it's always great to talk to someone. If your mental game's not on, then nothing's gonna be on. Invest in your head, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash Schwinski. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Um, not gonna bring my camera. I'll try to record some shit on my phone. So, I got some goggles they fucking suck i got them for 10 bucks at walmart then i saw some other ones like tj maxx for 10 bucks that was speedo brand and these fog up these leak i mean i'm not a good swimmer but like so it doesn't really matter but but yeah real quick before we head out back to what i was saying about if i hit like it's all right just show it up do your best if you hit your numbers if you hit your numbers great if you don't kill yourself about it but basically like when I was weightlifting, I'd have such a huge pressure on me all the time to hit these numbers. And if like I didn't, then I'd be so upset about myself. And just some days you're not going to have it. So to an extent, have that attitude, but don't let it become a crutch. Because at the end of the day, you have to remember weightlifting is something you do. It's not who you are. And just don't fall into that trap because it's only going and that can go with any sport going to lead to something not good it's gonna lead to burnout and i fell into that trap myself and we're working on it so but yeah that was all uh, let's go. <laughs> all right so we are here we have arrived 
However, I'm not in my car. Daisy needed to borrow the fit. I drove her car here and I forgot the gym key on my keys. You know, sometimes guys, I am a fucking idiot. On Thursdays, no one really shows up at like right at open time. So that's a good thing. No, I wanted to, since we're in the car waiting, fuck, I gotta change my battery one second. Since I'm in the car waiting, I figured I'd just talk about this a little bit. So yeah, besides YouTube, I also work at the gym. Now, what I do is I, I do help out with coaching, but primarily I do all the back end stuff. You know, I'm handling, I'm handling client relationships, I'm handling like HR, I help with the sales of memberships and I even do marketing and I'm not gonna lie marketing is fucking hard so no yeah it's been it's been great getting the experience of helping to build something in an industry and at a place I really care about you know Obviously a huge goal for us is to rebuild our weightlifting team again because as you guys know or you may not know but if you kind of like take a deeper look into weightlifting spheres around America it's all a cycle like the different powerhouse clubs and teams it all is with a cycle like when I first started the sport and I remember I was at national meets it was freaking everywhere of oldie concepts when magic when maddie rogers was still with uh danny camargo so many people from there and now i think it's kind of like now some big gyms are off the top of my head just power and grace so lately at our gym you know it's been cycles of like we've had a good amount of people cranking and then but recently we just we just haven't had a a, a big pool of like nationally competitive weightlifters and that's something um, we're really trying to strive to build again. Just building building a brand so when someone hears performance one they know exactly what it is that's that shit fires me up they know branding to me is when you hear something and it gives you a feeling and it gives you sort of like you know which i think is dope Part of what I enjoy is I feel like the thoughts and what goes into like not only a team or company, a brand, but just an organization in general, what goes into a successful organization really interests me, really fires me up. The systems that need to be put in place to build that, the, the logistics of everything, the planning, and, and it's it's really interesting to me. So I'm, I've really been enjoying and gaining a lot of experience from what I'm doing. And yeah, like I said, we, we're, we're, we're trying to build that up again because when I first got to the gym, we had a lot of kids and juniors and, and seniors cranking it. And even before that, you had not just like juniors in use, but you had multiple senior national like level people doing doubles, doing eight, seven, eight, nine workouts a week, all cranking it together. But we're, you know, we're just, we're just trying to rebuild again. Um, you know, Coach Joe, um, a lot of people don't really know about what he's done and, and his experience level and his and his level of professionalism I feel like because over the years he just he hasn't really been one to like to his own horn he kind of just stays in his bubble and there's nothing wrong with that it's just 
when it comes in today's day and age, it's just, it's almost necessary to just market yourself. Coach has built like some phenomenal weightlifters that I feel like, for one thing, he built me. He's built some phenomenal weightlifters that people I feel like just don't know that he built. Like he laid a solid foundation for those people. Oh, he took Sarah Robles to the Olympics in 2012. She was snatching 129. She was clean and jerking 155 at like 20 kilos lighter body weight. He really laid, he laid the foundation for Sarah Robles. He also helped build Alex Lee, who was a really good 69 and held the uh, American snatch record for a while. Multiple time Pan Am world team member. You could look it up. There's like, there's old videos of them and some people that were around in the era are still here and they and they talk about like just the grittiness you know so i don't know where i'm going with this but yeah so i guess yeah that's what i'm doing that's what i'm doing at the gym that's the part of my other part of my life that i've been working on besides this yeah if you live in arizona you want to start cranking it let us know come on down we're we're looking for fucking dogs right now